Hi everybody, today's lesson is going to be on hi-hat stick technique. We're going to learn a technique that allows you to get two different volumes out of the hi-hat. It's sometimes called a shank tip or shank bead technique. Now sometimes when you play the hi-hat, you want the hi-hat to be at one volume. You might play that just with the tip or bead of the stick, or you might use the thicker part of the stick called the shank. Those two different sounds will sound like this. Here's the, the tip or the bead, or sometimes the thicker part, the shank. Sometimes players play on the edge of the, of the hi-hats, depending on what kind of sound you want. This technique incorporates both a loud and soft sound using the shank or the thicker part of the stick for your heavy sound and the tip or bead for your lighter sound. Now, how do we get these two sounds? The first one, the shank, you're gonna place the stick on the hi-hat and you'll notice that if you're hitting accurately, there'll be space between the upper part of the stick and the hi-hat and a little bit of space in the back part of the stick as well. So what that does is it allows you to, to, it allows you to use the most mass on the drumstick to create a, a, a very tight, thick sound. So that sound is like this. When we create that sound, we want to keep a lot of pressure down on the pedal. So I'm actually uh, keeping a, a very good pressure down on the hi-hat. Nice, keeps the cymbals nice and tight. Now we're going to add to that the bead sound for our lighter volumed sound, and that's going to be like this. So we're going to add the two together, and it's going to sound like this. Now when you learn this technique, you want to be sure not to use too much of a rocking motion to get those two different sounds, okay? So you want to minimize the distance that you use between hitting the shank and the tip. It's not, it's not this. It's very close together. Okay? So now we're going to apply this to a very simple beat and you can hear the difference. The very first beat, we're gonna use um, eighth notes in the hi-hat. We're gonna accent the one, two, three, and four of the beats. It's gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Now we're gonna reverse that and we're gonna accent the ands of the beat. The and of one, the and of two, the and of three, the and of four. It's gonna sound like this, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so now we're gonna apply this to a very simple drum beat, two and four on the snare and uh, kick drum on one. And uh, the first beat is now gonna accent the one, two, three and the four. And this is what that sounds like. So now we're gonna reverse that. We're gonna put the accents on the ands of the beat. And of one, two, three, and four. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So now I'm gonna show you two bars of the downbeat one, two, three, and four accent against two bars with the ands of four, so you can really hear what the difference is between the two beats. Here we go, one and two and three and four. And that's it. So you can see by using the same motion, we've in essence created two different beats, right? The hands don't change, the placement of the snare and kick don't change. All we did was we changed our accent using a accented and unaccented technique on the hi-hat. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.